After COVID and its worldwide lockdown, Lily was elated to finally be able to visit the theater. Little did she know that this visit was going to be fatal. Everyone was shocked to learn that she had been murdered in the restroom. Detective Mayhul happens to be in the same multiplex, so he rushes to the crime scene. When he sees the CCTV footage, he realizes that Lily met three people there. He summons all three of them for introspection right away. I was Lily's college friend. Rohan explains. I actually met her after a long time. So, we exchanged pleasantries and I left. Pam says. Sir, I don't know her. I just helped her because she couldn't find the movie screen. Then we went to the restroom together. When I left, she was still inside. Emily says. Sir, I don't know her either. She just asked me what time it was, and I told her. Then, I met her back in the washroom, but we didn't speak. Mayhul immediately realizes who must have committed the murder after hearing them and seeing the crime scene. How? Can you think about it and tell me? Let's see what happens. Lily was wearing a watch. So why would she go to Emily to ask about the time? This means Emily is lying. Detective Mayhul caught her right away. Let's now move to the next riddle. On a Sunday night, at almost 10 p.m., Rambo was murdered. To investigate the matter, Detective Mayhul was called. He reaches the crime scene and summons everyone who seems suspicious. Tom says, I was at a party, I don't know anything. I asked Rambo to accompany me to the party but he refused. Lily says, I was at the shopping mall. Leo says, I was at the park for bird watching. I asked Rambo to accompany me too, but he refused. Upon hearing all three people, Mayhul instantly figures out who the murderer was. How? Let us know your answer in the comments below. Let's now check out the answer. The murder occurred at 10 p.m. How could Leo be in the park for bird watching so late at night? He was obviously lying. Let's move on to the next puzzle. New talents are always welcomed in the city of Paris. Amanda is a well-known singer in the city. She had a big concert today. The concert went fantastic and was an overall blast. She later went to the changing room because she was exhausted. Outside her room, a large crowd had gathered to greet her. Everyone wanted to meet the celebrity. However, such a large gathering was not permitted. So, people were allowed to meet her, one by one. After a while, everyone is shocked to learn that Amanda was murdered. Nobody knew who had done it. Detective Mayhul is called up to the crime scene. He arrives immediately and walks through the crime scene. He then notices Amanda's clock is broken. He deduces from this that Amanda and the killer must have fought. Mayhul has doubts about three people. He immediately calls all three of them for questioning. I am a huge fan of Amanda says the first girl. I too, am a singer who aspires to be like her. I also took a selfie with her before leaving. The second girl says. I just came to get Amanda Mam's autograph. She's my daughter's favorite singer. I even took a selfie with her for my daughter to see. The third man says. I just came here to get Mam's autograph. I then took a selfie before leaving. I'm completely clueless. Mayhul carefully examines the three scenarios and immediately infers who the murderer is. How did he figure it out? Let's see the answer. If you look closely at the first photo, the timing is 1044. This means she was the last person to see Amanda because her clock reads 1045 and is broken. This indicates they had a fight. Mayhul quickly catches her. Let's see the next riddle. It was a beautiful sunny day. Torvi decided to go shopping because it's been a long time since she had done so. She got dressed and went out early in the morning. Even though it was nearly evening, Torvi did not return home. Her husband kept calling her, but she didn't answer. He then calls Detective Mayhul and informs him that his wife Torvi went shopping at Hallmark Mall in the morning but hasn't yet returned home. He also tried to call her, but her phone is also out of service. Mayhul rushes over to the house and questions everyone. Torvi's daughter says, 
I was going to go shopping with mom today, but she canceled the plan with me and told me she was going with someone else. Her maid says, Today I was going shopping with ma'am, but she asked me to stay at home. Instead, she said she was going out with a friend. Her husband says, I've been in the office since afternoon. I tried calling her several times, but she never answered. When I got home, she wasn't there, so I called you. Torby's friend claims, She didn't ask me to go shopping. I was at home all day. You can also check my CCTV cameras. I don't know anything. Mehul immediately understands who has done the kidnapping. How did he get it? Let's look at the answer. The maid is lying. She was not there at home. Look at the Hallmark Mall bags behind her. This clearly shows that she went shopping. Mayhul immediately catches her. Let's move on to the next riddle. One day, the maid was in the middle of chores when she suddenly heard a gunshot. She immediately calls the owner, Mr. Trump and Detective Mayhul, and asks them to come there. Both of them reach the place at the same time. Mr. Trump says to Detective Mayhul, Thank God you are here, Detective Mayhul. Someone has shot my wife, Martha. Please catch the murderer. As soon as they went inside, they found Mr. Trump's wife dead. Detective Mayhul immediately arrests Mr. Trump. Why did he do that? Think and comment down your answer below. Let's take a look at the answer. The maid called Mr. Trump and Mayhul and said that she heard a gunshot. But how did he know that his wife was shot and murdered? Let's move on to the next one. On a busy Monday morning, Alicia was found dead in her house. Detective Mayhul is called to investigate the matter. He reaches the crime scene and finds a murder weapon. Hmm, it's a blood-coated knife. Mayhul thinks to himself. The knife also has fingerprints on it. There was no one in the house when the murder took place. Mayhul decides to dig deep into Alicia's past. He gets to know that Alicia had many affairs, she betrayed many boys. These are the fingerprints on the knife and these five are the fingerprints of her boyfriends. Examine these fingerprints carefully. Can you decipher whether it was a murder or a suicide? Think and let me know your answer through comments. Let's take a look at the answer. If you look closely, Alicia's fingerprints match the fingerprints on the knife. Which means Alicia has committed suicide. Let's move on to the next one. Mr. D'Souza is brutally murdered in his own house. Detective Mayhul arrives to look into the matter. At the time, there were four people in the house. Mayhul interrogates all of them. Maid. I was doing the dishes. I'm completely clueless. Cook. I had been preparing lunch since the morning. I don't know anything too. Gardener. I've been in the garden since the morning. I didn't even meet Mr. D'Souza today. I don't know anything. Mechanic. Mr. D'Souza's car needed some fixing, so I came to repair it. I don't know anything either. Observe the statements carefully and help Detective Mayhul solve the case. Leave your answer by commenting. Let's see what happens. If the gardener has been working in the law since morning, how are his clothes and gloves so clean? Mayhul figures out that he is lying and that he was the murderer. Let us now move on to the next riddle. Rambo is the biggest Don in the world. Police forces from all over the world are after him. Every other gangster is looking for him, but to date no one has been able to even get close. One morning, while Rambo was reading the newspaper in the garden, four gangsters arrived. And one of them shot him. No one knew who. Detective Mayhul arrives at the crime scene and immediately arrests all four gangsters. All of them try to defend themselves and convince Mayhul that it was not them. But Mayhul figures out who must have fired the bullet. How? Think carefully and comment your answer.
Let's see the answer. Mayhul touches their guns. Whoever's gun is hot, is the one who fired. Mayhul catches him. I think this video deserves a like for Mayhul's brilliant move. Let's go on to the next riddle. Inspector Gag had been on the hunt for a serial killer for a long time now. The killer had claimed more than 30 victims to date and was still at large. His latest victim Bob was killed last night. While investigating, Inspector Gag reaches the killer's den. There was no one around, but the inspector notices some letters scribbled on the wall. Hmm, what can this possibly be? Gag thinks to himself. He immediately calls Detective Mayhul. Mayhul carefully observes the letters on the wall, which appear to be a pattern. Oh, look there is something else. He exclaims as he walks towards the end of the wall and finds pictures of three girls. Mayhul instantly decodes the murder pattern and figures out who the next victim would be. Can you guess the answer? Let's hop on to the answer. Look at the pattern ABA, the word has three letters, and the last victim was B.O.B., who also had a three-lettered name. The next pattern is ABBA, and in the third photo, this girl is named Anna. The number of letters in her name matches the number of letters in the pattern. Hence, Anna is going to be killed. Mayhul beats the killer to the crime scene and successfully saves Anna's life. Now, let's go on to the next riddle. Josh has worked as a cab driver for 10 years. He frequently gets into arguments with his passengers. One day, he is found dead in his taxi. Detective Mayhul is summoned for an investigation. It appears to be a murder. Mayhul thinks to himself. Josh got into a dispute with three people that day. Detective Mayhul immediately interrogates three people. Aaron says, I took a cab to college. When I arrived, he requested me to pay him extra money which I refused, and an argument ensued. Why would I murder him for a few bucks? Nina says, I was at work when I got a call. It was a medical emergency. My mother was admitted in the hospital. I needed to get to there as quickly as possible. Josh was driving very slowly. We had a fight because of this. I left after he dropped me off at about 2 p.m. I'm completely clueless. Brandon explains, Around 1 p.m., I was returning home from the supermarket after finishing my grocery shopping. I was carrying a lot of bags. He was demanding extra money for all of my belongings. Because of this, we had a disagreement. Mayhul carefully records their statements and quickly arrests the murderer. How? Who do you think killed Josh? Think about your answer and leave it in the comments section. Let's hop on to the answer. Out of all three of them, Nina was the last one to travel in Josh's cab. She booked the cab to go to the city hospital. If you noticed, Josh was found dead in his car right in front of the hospital. This means that she killed Josh. Interesting, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next one. Larry calls Detective Mayhul in a haste to inform that his wife Serena had committed suicide. Mayhul reaches the crime scene instantly. He examines the crime scene carefully, while Larry informs him that they had been in an ugly fight. Serena pulled out a poison pill bottle and consumed it, which became the cause of her death. Detective Mayhul extracts the bottle and sends it to the lab for further testing. The lab in charge confirmed that it was in fact Serena's fingerprints on the bottle and the pills that she consumed are the contents of this bottle. But this isn't a suicide, but a murder. By looking at Serena's fingerprints on the bottle, can you guess why did the lab in charge think so? Comment down your answer below. Let's now look answer. Notice that the fingerprints can only be seen on the bottle and not on the cap. Then how did she open the container? This means that Larry has strategically placed her fingerprints all over the bottle but did not do so for the cap. Hence, he was caught. Let's now jump to the next riddle. While traveling along the highway, Detective Mayhul noticed a man lying on the road. When he went to check on the man, he discovered that he had already died. How could someone be killed on the highway, especially so far from town? Mayhul goes to the nearest toll booth and inquires about all of the vehicles that have passed through it today. 
three vehicles passed through the toll today. Mayhul contacted all three owners and thoroughly inspected their automobiles from the inside out. This is car one. This is car two. This is car three. After inspecting the cars, Mayhul realizes who committed the murder. Can you guess? Take your time and leave your answer in the comments section. Let's have a look at the answers. Take a close look at the second vehicle. A red glove is lying in the corner, and the other glove in the pair is in the dead man's hand. That's how Mayhul understands that the owner of the second car committed the murder.